Jonathan has profiled over forty thousand people. One of those was international expert on Middle East politics, Virginia Tilly. And the decision was that she should be checked in the harshest way because of her connections. There are intelligence agents in the security area. They may call them airline security, but there's no difference here. And you have to get through that barricade to get on the plane. Virginia was taken to an interrogation room where she was separated from her luggage. And they set me in a room and they put my luggage on the other side of a door, an open door, on a table. And then after about five minutes, just that door just closed, and I couldn't see my luggage anymore. Okay, now what are you doing with all that stuff for forty-five minutes? Up until now, she could only guess, but Jonathan confirmed what really happened that day. She had like a. A portfolio.、Uh, Golan Rice took the folder while it was in the back room. She couldn't see what we were doing. He photocopied all the documentation, and then he forwarded it onto Israel. Who was that information passed on to? Well, I would imagine it's passed on to the Israeli security services because it would be of no benefit to El Al, the airline. So you're saying it's like the CIA doing whatever they want at Oa Tambo,、like、or the, any other intelligence organization? It's like the CIA or the FBI or MI5. But they're hiding behind the guise of the airline. Virginia Tilly is currently on a two-year research assignment at the HSRC. The project brought South African, Palestinian, and Israeli scholars together to debate their future. To avoid Al Al's treatment, they came to South Africa on a different airline. But Al Al phoned the travel agent, wanting to know who her visitors were meeting. You know, for Al Al to be interrogating private South African citizens about. The agenda of、uh, visitors to the Human Sciences Research Council、uh, is entirely inappropriate, if not illegal. Given the difficulties of the Israeli situation, I mean, isn't it reasonable that they take these kinds of pre- precautions? Well, there's two problems with that. First is the racial profiling. Okay,、um, to to simply judge people and to treat them differently on the basis of race is inadmissible in South Africa today. First of all. Second, the questions go far beyond what the only legitimate focus of their security interests at that point, which is the security of the airplane. So, who are these people that Jonathan says employed him? In Hebrew, it's known as the Shabak or the Shin Bet. It is the internal security service of the Israeli government. They have a reputation of being absolutely ruthless in the way that they've handled the situation. In Israel, as proof, Jonathan produced several documents and a letter from Al Al's general manager, Ros Bukras, in which he clearly states that the Israeli security agency is his employer. So we gave her a call. Hello. Hello, Ros. You're speaking to Bongani from Cart Blanche. Can I ask you, Bongani? Sorry, can I ask you to call me in about ten minutes? I'm just busy on an overseas call. So we tried Roz as she asked, but then for three days she ducked and dived, avoiding our calls. Then an email came from Al Al in Bedford View saying they don't give out any information on their security, but we simply wanted to know who Jonathan Garp worked for. We'd like to do a camera interview now. Your guy has explained to us what we need to. Security manager Golan Rice was also shy. We would have asked him why his weapon is licensed to the Israeli embassy and why he passed on Virginia Tilly's information to Israel. But no deal. The Israeli embassy were equally reluctant to give us answers. Why? Because、uh, this is the Israeli embassy. That's the Israeli embassy. Yes, this is not the Israeli embassy. No problem. Don't 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 take a picture. The ambassador Dov Segev Steinberg told our journalists that we should look for answers from Al Al, as the embassy has nothing to do with a private company. Yeah. So sorry, from your side, you're saying that the state of Israel is not involved with Al Al at all. No, El Al is what I can tell you that it, El Al is a private company, and with regard to your questions, you, you should refer to them. But how then does the ambassador explain the weapons used by the new security manager Eli Shukrin and his predecessor Golan Rice? Carte Blanche has confirmed that their arms are licensed to the embassy. If El Al is a private company with nothing to do with them, why would the embassy be so generous as to loan them its weapons? A recent Al Al ad campaign features passengers flying on the airline as angels. In reality, for those with a certain look, your experience is likely to be one straight out of hell. I wasn't angry, but I was burning. 
it was a classical replica of the old South African apartheid style. Isaac Ngidi was so incensed by his treatment at the hands of Al Al that he's taken the matter to the South African Embassy in Israel. He has a small NGO that assists women's groups to produce food. The Israelis are experts in hydroponics, so he planned a knowledge-sharing trip to Israel, and he arrived at the Al Al check-in in June. The question I asked, I said, look, do, why are you doing all these things? What's your problem? And then she said, well, we, we're protecting the state of Israel. And, and she, well, I said, well, but if you protect the state of Israel, against who? Well, against the Palestinian or whoever. I said, but do we look like Palestinians? Jonathan explained that black people receive a harsher profiling process than white passengers. In South Africa in 2009, that doesn't seem right, surely? Of course it's not right. Of course it's not right.